Hey everyone, let me turn off. Just, just close me down. I need to find myself on YouTube. Your channel. There I am. Hi everyone. Turn the volume down. Does it look fuzzy to you? Looks fuzzy to me. There we go. Okay. Now it's all focused. Hi, Anna. Welcome. Okay, so hit the thumbs up on the way out or the or on the way in, <laughs> preferably. <laughs> it's my brother's birthday today. Hi, Gina. Hi, Lori. Just doing some office work here, putting my um, email. Oh, well, hi, Dawn. Hi, Pandora. Let's try this. Net. All right. Mishka, Lizzie, hi. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Ramel. Hi, Kirsten. I say Kirsten. Okay, so that's all pinned in there. Everything's pinned in. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Karen Stevens. Welcome. I put my email in the channel. Um, so, yes. Hello, Lizzie. Welcome. So glad to see everybody on this beautiful, beautiful spring evening. Yeah, his name is Joe. <laughs> He's a funny guy. He, he pops in once in a while on Tuesday nights. Yeah, he's... Well, I've kind of got a mishmash of stuff. Um... And I um, have a, a few things like, um, hi, Lori, hi, Connie, welcome, everyone, hi, Deborah. did I miss anybody, Ramel, hello, Karen Stevens, check, check, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> but I don't want to miss anybody, because I do appreciate everybody being here, and um, it's a buy it now, I say the price. Um, well, I'll say it after I type it in, and then you hit want if you want the item. So, and I'll probably be on for at least two hours. So, if you see, if you have a special request, let me know. Um, I have stuff that I showed on the preview, and then um, I have some other items. A mushroom? Did I call him a mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't call cotton, but it may have sounded like mushroom, whatever it was. <laughs> I said, he's a fun guy. Yeah, he's fun. He might pop in. I told him I was going live tonight, so we'll see. Anyway, um, I did find these. Um, these are... Uh, Bonnie Zipkin, these were my pert from my personal collection. Fun guy, fun guy. That's right. That's right. That's now I get it. See, I'm a little slow. But these are by Bonnie Zipkin. And these are mostly plastic, but she does some wonderful. Hi, Lizzie. She does some wonderful thing with plastic and metal. And um so these are just a whole bunch of fun. I don't want to miss anybody. So if I do, I really apologize. So I've got um, three necklaces here by Bonnie Zipkin. And these have like these kind of, they're plastic, but they look like, like hammered metal. So she has some really good quality plastic pieces. And, um, and on this one, 
These are hi de fleur. These are pearlized plastic on this kind of a I don't know. It's almost a paperclip chain. And it, this one has a clasp that does this. And then I have Hi, Steph sells stuff by the seashore. I'll just call you Steph. Welcome, Steph. Thank you for coming. And then this one is a dual strand. Also has the plastic components. I love the big old claws on these guys. Hi, Emily. And um, so this has a, I like large lobster claws. Because it just, I don't know, it's so much easier. So I have, I have all three of these. So I have this one. And I have this one with the pearlized. And then I also have... And this is the de designer is Bonnie Zipkin. And they're not marked Bonnie Zipkin. So they're all three of them are here. If you want, um, hi, Infinite. Welcome. Hi, Sarsar. Sar. Hi, Tanya. So these are going to be, um, these are going to be $10 each or three, four, 25. So $10 each or three for 25. They're super cool. I just like the design. So this is the pearlized one. Infinite. <laughs> so here's the pearlized one. And let me get your size on it. They're long, they're over the head. I mean, they do have clasps, but um, hi Lizzie. They have class, but um, maybe so you can double it. This one's 18. This one's 18 inches. So that one's 10. They're 10 each or three for 25. You can have all three. Yeah, I know. It's funny to hear somebody's voice that, you know, <laughs> all you do is monitor in the chat and you go, I wonder what they sound like. I wonder what they look like. This one's 18 inches. But I mean, she does. She just does wonderful beads with beading with it, and it looks a, a lot like metal. But they're super lightweight. This is a dual. And this one is a nice long seventeen and a half. You want the pearlized one? It is so beautiful. Yes, I will put you down for that one. Thank you, Infinite Cord. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Pearlized. Yeah, that's, isn't that amazing? And it's lightweight. Yeah, just shoot me an email. It's right up there in the pinned comments. Thank you so much. Write this down. And shipping starts at $6 in the U.S. And in Canada, just like Gina, it's like $14, $15 starting. Um, yeah, I know. Um, and then, you know, it's just on a case-by-case -case basis. Because um, if it goes over 8 ounces to Canada, it's it jumps up to like $22. So you got to be kind of, I don't know, aware. So I will take these guys down but yeah Bonnie Zipkin that's her name let me write this in a different baggie yeah um I actually wasn't feeling well this morning um I had some dental work done and then you know 
I just I got a headache and all kinds of stuff. So I came home early, took some ibuprofen, took some um, Pepsid, and I feel so much better, so much better. It's amazing. And I was thinking about taking a little bit of a nap, but no. All right, I, where'd they go? If anybody knows of somebody getting married, I'll clean these up. I got these cute little bracelets. Um, one of them says, one, the, the, the black one is a size eight and the rose gold is a size seven. Oh, I am feeling so much better. Um, anyway, so this, the black one says, I'm her beast. And the rose gold says, I'm his beauty. There's a little rhinestone there. And they're on this kind of a chain. So if you know anybody who's getting married, this might be kind of a little fun thing for, you know, maybe an engagement party or, you know, the rehearsal dinner. So I'm selling the pair, both of them, for $12. But yes, thank you, Lizzie. Oh, yeah, I, I probably did. I, I'll have to. So, so, if anybody is. Yeah, it is a cute idea. Okay, Tanya. These are just so beautiful. And they're, they have substance. I know. She's going to make. Are you going to make one of those beautiful trees? <laughs> Like a wedding tree? Is she a Canadian artist? I think she's New York. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you so much. That was a good one. Cam loops. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it is a nice little gift, and it's just for fun, you know. Okay, so all these bracelets, these are, these have some sort of name to them, or these are, um, or they have a stone. This one is a, um, an amethyst bead. Hi there. Hi, uh, Carla, how you doing? So this has amethyst and freshwater pearl. It looks to be a little bit on the large side. And this is, this is um, artisan made, but it's done so well. So very well. And this one I'm going to do for 10. It's just really pretty. But it is, it's done very well. And it snaps together pretty easily. And I will get, it doesn't come off my hand easily. Hi, Lenore, how are you? And this one measures on the inside two and a half. So yeah, it's a solid seven. Hi, hey, Deborah, if I didn't say so earlier. So there's that one. Okay, now I say that and I can't get it off. There we go. <laughs> So good to see everybody. Mishka, hello if I haven't said oh I did early on. You were in you were in early on. I'm supposed to have another bin here for Have this um, three station 
um, this is cloisonne. Actually, the beads are not, these beads up here are not cloisonne. They are painted, paint, painted porcelain. And these guys are cloisonne. And then you also have the bottom bead, which is cloisonne. Kristen. Okay, and this one, this one I, I had for um, 20, so I'm gonna do 18 on it. It's just beautiful. I tried selling it for 20, but no one wanted it for 20. So I'm offering it to you folks for 18. And the length is 13 and a half or 13. Just super pretty. Pretty, pretty. Cloisonne. Cloisonne and beautiful, beautiful blue. Porcelain painted. Jane, welcome. I have some uh, milk glass earrings. These are clip-ons. I'll show you the back, but this is the front. I cleaned them off because there was some goo on the front. But those are really cool milk glass, faceted milk glass. And here's the back. You can see This may have come off and been re-glued with the wrong glue. Hi, Sunday. Welcome, welcome. It's still neat. Well, it's pretty good. So these beautiful milk glass I am doing for $6. Yeah, it is my brother's birthday. He's older than me. That's the best part about it. So yeah, these cute little button earrings. I'll repeat the price because there we go, six dollars. And they are milk glass. You can hear it. Yeah, they are pretty, um, but you know, they can be heavy and, um, you know, unless you're used to wearing clip-ons, it's a tough one. And you, you also have to like milk glass. <laughs> find something else. What do I do with the bag for this? Write it down again. And turn, not turn my back on the chat. <sighs> I do have, um, hi Alex, welcome. Um, these, um, there's no 
stamp on them. I did look for a stamp. They are not stamped. Where do I ship from? I ship from California. Okay, so let's do this guy back here. He's kind of staring at me. This, I couldn't read the tag, so let me try it again. Oh, yes, you may, Steph. Yes, you may. Thank you, thank you. Steph sells. Thank you. Yeah, just shoot me an email. Um, and those are yours. Yeah, they are nice. They're very nice. I did clean them the surface, but I didn't clean the glue on the back because I didn't want to, you know, get them to <laughs> fall off again. All right, so this guy... Oh, I was going to read the tag. It's got a little heart tag and it says Diva on it. Um, but here's his face. The chain is long. He's got these like ruby eyes. Oh, nice. And then here's the back. And it has a super long chain, super long, with an extender. And I'm going to do this guy. He's going to be 15. Yeah, somebody's going to appreciate that. $15. And... Oops, somebody's sending me some fan mail. What happened? Oh, police department saying there's a vegetation fire. I hope it's not too close. 16 and a half inches as it sits right now. Oh, sure. I will make sure you get those, Miss Alex. Thank you so much. You will like them. I know you will. Thank you, Alex. Um, anyway, so this one is, this one's 15. It's just a big, handsome tiger. Oh, come on. I'll put him on the black one so you can see what he looks like this way. There we go. Now you can see his red eyes. Oh, you did. Par, par, rear, per, rear, okay. <laughs> you need a mascot. <laughs> Well, great. Yeah, go ahead and put your link in the in the um, chat. And um, also, um, I will. Well, you're going to email me, so I'll I'll just go from YouTube. But you can see how this guy's eyes just glow. <laughs> the enamel, kind of a painted enamel. There is, uh, looks like he's got a few like little rhinestones just to give him some, some pop there. Some rhinestones up through here. I just noticed his eyes. Hello. <laughs> we'll put him away. No, I'm sorry, Purple Brain. It's not 925. I apologize. He's, he's just costume 
but he's fun costume. You don't know how to get subscribers? Well, um, this is a good way to do it because um, word of mouth for one thing, and then somebody will see your ch channel and then they will, um, <laughs> Jim's, uh, yeah, and then, and then, yeah, somebody will go see your channel, they'll say go check it out, and then it just starts rolling from there. Um, but usually it's word of mouth and um, initially so that you can get some and do some, you know, do some, some videos, get, you know, have a variety and it does, it does, but it says diva instead of Betsy or a wannabe Betsy. Yeah, but somebody put their, um, put, actually put their name on it. Okay, so this goes over here. Oh, I have this set. I'm going to sell this as a set. I had these in blue, green, and brown. The brown one is left. And I think these are uh, Peruvian coins. If I can get... <laughs> There's an earring stuck in here, and it just makes me crazy. But... I'm going to sell, it's like a four-piece set, and I will show you. So these are Peruvian coins with some brown beads. And then, you know, so, and then these uh, llama stations. So these are llamas. I think I have it on backwards. Excuse me. So these have llama stations. And the Peruvian coins and this little pottery beads right there. And it's on a cord. It goes over your head. So it's a braided cord. Then I'm adding um, to it these earrings right here. Oh, yeah, do that. Yeah, Betsy, um, so I have these pierced earrings. Yeah, Betsy's a, a big draw, especially if you have the vintage Betsy. Then I also have these. These actually match better because they have the brown bead. So same kind of pottery situation. And then this bracelet. And you can tell it's a little older because it has a different elastic to it. So all four pieces. All four, all four of these. All four of these I'm gonna do for, eh, I'll do all four for 18. So you've got the bracelet, I'll put that on. And then you have the uh, llama necklace sit straight. There we go. I need to fix this guy. He's kind of, there we go. Well, it, it's just, <laughs> and then two pairs of earrings. You're still on a budget. earrings so let's see if I can fix this Etsy yeah Etsy I know is kind of expensive if you list there you got to list some high-end items to make some some money for yourself um, yes they are quite they're quite like camels you know anyway so there's that set This really beautiful Napier and bracelet. I'm going to bring up as soon as I get all this stuff stuck in here. Because if I have time, I'm going to do a re recap. It is a really cool necklace. 
And again, I did have three of them. It's probably, you know, like, um, when you, you know, um, a village trinket, you know, like a village would, you know, when they make things for, um, when they make things for tourists, you know, the, the village uh, folks will make these trinkets. They're, I think they're big on pottery too. Okay, so Napier. This one doesn't, doesn't even look like it's ever been worn. It does remind me, it says Napier on the inside there. Right in here, Napier. Here's the front, it's a clamper, but it's kind of a maroon tone. Oh, that's right, you do. And this one has a nice, you know, pinch clamper. So you put it on. It goes with my my shirt here, and it would it would fit a seven easily. I like the oval shaped ones because they don't roll around, especially if there's a design on it. I think he said it was. <laughs> He, go ahead and repeat it, um, Infinite. But this beautiful Napier, I think I'll do this one for $12. It's a nice one. So 12 on the Napier. Put it on the background. I don't know, there's the, the oval there. There's the design. This is definitely an enamel piece. Moving on, moving on. All right, this is a Monet. This is probably a contemporary. It could even be Marvella. I'm not sure of the Marvella symbol, but this could be a, um, a contemporary Monet. There's the tag. It's a stretch. It's on a, actually on one of those coated cords, coated with fabrics. But it's a nice little Monet piece. And this one I'll do for, I'll do this one for eight. It's still got some good stretch to it. You want the set, the handmade one, you want it? Just say want, you want the set. <laughs> Oh, that was nice to Fleur. You can also email me if you want anything that's, you know, because I'll do a recap at the end. Because so I'll go on for a couple of hours. Let's see. Yes, absolutely. Um, um, yeah, if you have a channel, um, let me know because you can just tap on the. Um, yeah, if you come in on par the P per, then I can um, actually um, turn you into a, a wrench. Oh, yes, don't forget that.
my cord in. Sorry. Turn off the the sign. <laughs> A wrench. <laughs> That's funny. Let me plug this in so I don't run out of power. That would be bad. I have the iPhone 11 because it does better um, than my 13. Now if I can just get the plug in there. Oh, technical difficulties. There we go. Now I'm now I'm charging. I'm charging. Okay. You'll be the bar wrench wench. Okay, cute. I thumbed up. Yes, please do. All right. What's going on here with this thing? I was moving stuff around and this got... Sometimes these little chains, they just get cockeyed. All right. There we go. Okay. So this is a real pretty. This one is marked USA. It has all the colors. What'd you do? <laughs> Same brain, yes. So there you go. And this one I'll do. I'll do this one for six. It's brand new. I'll get you a size. Doesn't look like anybody's. It's got the fold over clasp. Kind of looks tiny from my end, but no, it says it could be even a seven and a half. I would go seven and three quarters. Okay, Karen Stevens, I see you. There you go. Put your name on that puppy. And if I haven't sold before to you before, um, please email me. Oh, Lenore, I see Karen um, Stevens first. I'm sorry. Hi, Molly. Let's go get a snack between shows. Um, Molly, just so you're aware, I have I have this. This is new. Okay then no problem. If I have any problems, I will let you know, but yeah. Okay, so Molly, I have this. You know, you like critters. I have this one, and I'll put it up again. This one is $15. Oh, good night, Dawn. You got a big week coming up. Yeah, you, um, Dawn from Hudson Vintage, um, she is having a, um, oh, Princess got it, okay. Uh, Dawn is having um, a Ukrainian relief charity. Yeah, I saw, I saw a Carla first, Molly, I'm sorry. Put Princess Carla on here. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. I just when I put them on the black on the on the black one, it's just that you can just see his eyeballs so much viv more vivid. So, is this going to be for for your hubby? <laughs> Mr. Cat collector of pins. Oh, see. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's a good deal. He'll like it. He'll wear it proud. Now. This one, I believe, is, is this marked? Yes, this one's marked Coro. It does show signs of wear on the inside. I've had this several times. So I'm going to rock bottom price this puppy. It needs a new home. Yes, Steph also has a channel. She does hard goods. 
Um, and she's by the seashore. I'm not which seashore. Which are you in Southern California, Steph? I, I tend to think that you're down there uh, by Oceanside or something. I can't say that word, and I know that, you know, I think it mean I forget what part you're, well, I'm not even going to say it. So this one does show wear on the back, and I'll show you. Maybe somebody can work with it. See right here? It does so, and it is marked Coro. I believe it's a solid seven. So this one I will sell. Greek salad and cookies. That's funny. I'll sell this one for six. I think it's time for it to move on. What do you think? I see DeFleur. I got DeFleur first. Thank you, DeFleur. It's beautiful on the outside. It's just that one panel. Thanks, DeFleur. Good to have you here. Um on Tuesday. Parger, P-A-U-R-E-R. -E I, I can't pronounce it. And I think it means like um, a demi, well, like a demi set. So like if you had a set of four uh, items in your jewelry, um, like a, a set or a suite, then um, you would, on a, a parger, <laughs> Uh, it is like a partial set. Yeah, I haven't seen any Shriner June proverb. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you know what? It's a it's an opportunity to relax, Defleur. It really is. All right. What else have I got here? I've got, I've got this big box of brooches, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move these aside. We've done bracelets enough. So I have this bin here and what doesn't sell is gonna go into this. Um, who was first? Um, on my end, I have DeFleur. I'm sorry. I did go back and check. Okay, so anything that doesn't sell is going to go in here, and then I'll sell it as a lot. So this poor puppy has been around for a while. It says it's a BSK brooch. It says it right there. And the BSK brooch I will do for $6. Yeah, it um, actually, it happens a lot. Um, some You don't see it on your end. Double check here. Yeah, I'm live. Let me do, let me do this. Okay, I'll go back and check again. Yep, see it still see the floor. And so this one's six. I have six dollars on this one. So we'll put that in the bin. I have um, a cute, I'm gonna sell these together. Beautiful pair of butterflies. Beautiful pair of butterflies, and this one is these guys. I'm gonna sell them together, and it's gonna be eight dollars for the pair. So this one right here has the the rows, and then here's the backs, if you wanna see the backs. One of them's a lot older than the other. They're a little bit more lighter, more th they're thinner.
Okay, we'll put those guys in the box. Um, I'm gonna grab some new ones that no one has seen. We're gonna go through these together. This one is, let's see. This one's super cool. This one is not marked. And it goes like this. It's really, really a deep, deep red. Lots of sparkle. And these are prong set. And it's got a dome, so it sits up high. These are all Rivoli's. And here's the back. You can see the back. So this pretty, pretty. This one I will do for 10. I see DeFleur first. Hi, Sherry. Welcome. I see DeFleur first. Believe me, I have more. <laughs> I have more. And this one. Oh, here's a really pretty one. This is painted enamel. You can see it's probably about two inches. And this one has the, the rhinestone in the center and then three different colors of pink. And here's the back. The back looks like it's got a wash of silver. These are new. I just got these. And this one is also $10. Okay, I see Molly first. Thank you, Molly. Molly likes her flowers, her enamel flowers. Here's another one. Wow, this is pretty. The pin on the back is a little bit loose, so I'll take that into consideration when I price it. But I think it, see, it's a little tweaked there. Just probably needs to be readjusted. Somebody knows how to do that, but there's the front. So I'll adjust it. Um, I'll do this one for nine. still wearable so the, this is glass on top uh, it's it's all the AB crystals and and it's just the base metal I see infinite cord he's I don't even know your name <laughs> And then this has kind of a shimmery enamel here to give it some more shine. Thank you so much. ICP. Oh, yeah, ICP. That's a good one. What did DeFleur... Okay, go through this bag here, a few more left. Uh, this is just a little stick pin. I'm going to put it in this. It's fabric pin. And actually this is, you know, this is, it's, this is, this is the part you want right here. This thing. 
<laughs> because they're they always get lost so I'm gonna put that in there um, I'm guessing this, this is a C anybody want a C here's the back just a silver base and then here's the front hold it like that I don't know if you can see it very well it's a C. I'll put it in my hand like that. A C. And this one, this one I'll go ahead and do for five. It's not in really super great shape, but it is a C. Oops, down, Jeanette, down. All right, I'm going to put that in this box. Let's keep going. This one doesn't have a name. It should, because it looks to me like either like a Trafari. This one's really pretty. No name. Gold tone. Nice, pretty gold tone piece. Here's the back. There's no name on it. And this one I will do for eight. This one needs to be cleaned. So I'll put that one down there. This one's dirty. Dirty little, dirty little elephants. Yeah. Clean them up with the, my simple shine. Okay, this is either, it's Liz Claiborne. It's a double layer of elephants. It says Elsie. It could be Lauren Conrad. I don't know. And here's the front. Trunks up. Good luck. And we'll do this one for eight as well. I see Molly. Thank you, Molly. You and your critters. Molly and her critters. I know. I love animals so much. I actually have a huge collection of elephants. Sorry, Mishka. Sorry, Mishka. All right. This one has... Oh, is there a mark in here? I don't know. This is a Koro piece. Looks in really good shape. It says right in here, way in there, it says Coro. And then there's a copyright right there. Just a beautiful Coro piece. Big old strawberry. <laughs> Big long strawberry. And this Coro brooch, I will do for 10. Hang on, folks. Okay, Purple Rain, I see you. One second, honey, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Where's my pen? <laughs> Somebody wants to come in here, so let me write this down before I forget. So, yeah, that's a unique piece. Hang on, let me let my husband in.
He was he was checking on me because I wasn't feeling well. Isn't that sweet? All right, so there's this one. This one is not marked. But yes, thank you, Purple Rain. This is um, it's kind of an in international thing. It reminds me of um, It's a Small World from Disney. Just a bunch of little kids. But there's no Disney mark on it, so it kind of reminds me of this. Kind of that Disney flavor to it. Oh, um, Infinite, I have, I wear it all the time. It's a mermaid necklace. It's got um, a big chunk of frosted quartz, clear quartz on it. I love it. Sea glass. Okay, so this guy, these guys right here, these guys, I will do these for eight. Okay, Molly, I see you. That's in really good shape, too. Really good shape. Put that back here. Okay, anybody like dragonflies? This one is, it does look like it's marked. Let's see what it says. Oh, I can't read it. But there is a mark on the back. It looks like it's gold tone in the center. And then it's silver tone on the back. And on the wing. I saw Betsy Pineapple today. For eight. I'm getting a little shit in the, the stream here. See that clearly? Can't put that in this bin over here. Here's a cute little donkey. He's not high end. Donkey burrow. And he's in really good, really good shape. Get up close. This one, I will do for six. I see Molly. Thank you, Molly. Looks like there is, what is the brand on this one? I don't know, it looks like AAI, but I don't know if that's what it is. But this is enamel, enamel and rhinestones. Flying like a donkey. Enamel and rhinestones. The mark on the back. I don't know who it is, but this is um, silver tone, has like purple and pink, 
and rhinestones. And this one I will do for eight. Oh, it rep represents change. That's interesting. Okay, I'll put that in here. And the last one in this box here, oh, it's this beautiful Christmas tree. And there is a mark on the back. Christmas and um, the dragonfly. Thank you, Mishka. And I haven't shipped out every. I haven't shipped out from Sunday, so everything's going to be. Um, so if you do have a package, um, I will do my best to keep. Oh, you want the flowers? Okay. Let me put this back. Get the flowers. Sorry. Thank you. Um, so if you have purchased from me Sunday, this will be included. Your postage is included. Give people money. So they have more money to spend. So let me see who this is. Who is this? Corel, C-O-R-E-L. So look at that one. It's kind of got a peach tone and then the rhinestones in between, the AB rhinestones. And this one's 10. It's in really good condition. It's got the bottom, there's the bottom. Here's the back. I see Princess Casserole. Thank you, Carla. Thank you very much. Okay, that's all in this box. Um, I have other stuff. We can take a break from brooches. I have this really pretty choker. This, this one is a fold over clasp. Oh, I will, Kelly. How are you? Thank you, I will. Um, so this has a fold-over clasp right there. And here's the, I mean, it looks Trafari Coro, but there's no maker's mark on this one. And it is a choker. I just love these. Right there. this I'll measure it um, this one is 16 inches no makers mark absolutely gorgeous And this one, I well, these are really popular to wear for every day because it just fits right at the base of the neck, and uh, and it just like a peekaboo through your shirt there. It's really nice.
Yeah, I will. I'll check it out. She had a rough, rough life. Good old Hollywood. They chew you up and spit you out there. Put that away. some fun stuff in here. Oh. Um, I have a pair and they don't match. I mean, other than that, they are pearl, plastic pearl. These are, these are sweater clips. There's two of them. Here's the other side. There's one on each side. I'm going to sell them both together. Um, they work. This one works. This one's tight, but it works. Come on, work. Yeah, that one works. That one works. That one works. So I'm going to sell both of these together. Oh my. Nails. I get these at Amazon and just press them on. So these are both, it's $10 for both. Sweater clips. Sweater clips, dress clips. You can use them like if you have a billowy dress and you want to cinch it in. Okay, Sar Sar, thank you. Sar Sar. I like saying Sar Sar, Scott, Sar Mishka. <laughs> yeah, they have the, um, I should have mentioned that, they have the rosary chain. It's a rosary chain. Yeah, they are pretty. These are freshwater pearls. These are kind of in a, um, I just love the color. I don't know if they're dyed, but you can tell that the water um, right there. These are just so lovely. And pearls need to be worn. Because they, they, they make a nice patina just by being on your skin. And I'm going to do a little quick measure here. I don't remember what I had these before, but I'm going to do a nice do you guys today. This, they're nice, beautiful, you know, they're nice, beautiful, roundish pearls. This is 17 inches. So this will fit most at the base of the collar, the base of the neck. And come on. Oh, nails. See, this is the drawback with nails. Wow. Come on. That's why I like the bigger lobster claw, because <laughs> it just grabs it so nicely. All right, so I will do these guys right here, killer price. I'll do these for 18. They're really pretty. They give off a nice little sheen. Beautiful little sheen. What is going on with my... Okay, Purple Rain, these are yours. And they just feel good. Pearls always feel good. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Thank you, Purple Rain. They're very pretty. You'll like the color. 
soon as you get them, you just go. Oh, I have a thermoplastic vintage bracelet. Okay. Look at this. Look at that. That is so cool. And there's the back. There's no mark. Dang it. And it's not the best of metals, you know, it just Well, no, it, it, it does feel good. I mean, it's it's smooth against your skin. So there's that to be said for it. And I will get you a measurement. Blue and light blue. What happened on your channel? Everyone insults you if you don't do what? Oh, nails. Pfft. I've been on the channel without fingernails. I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, this one, I would say it's about a six and a half, maybe. Let me close that. It's six and three quarters. And this cutie patootie, let me show you on my arm so you can get an idea. It's a little too small for me. This cutie patootie. Exactly, Sunday. Exactly. I go on without nails sometimes too. So I'll do this one. I'll do this one for 12. Rock grind. Yeah, see, you know. Hard working hands. Everybody needs to be individual. Shannon Roberts, thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's thermoplastic on metal. And it, it is smooth on the other side. And it is on the, a little on the smaller side. Uh, tell, <laughs> oh, man. Some people, you know, they always have to pick on something. Yeah. We, we all need to focus on, you know, the jewelry portion. Okay. So these are repeats. And um, this one's got some wear to it. I'm going to, I'm not even going to, I don't think I'll even... I'll put, I'm going to put this in the box. We're putting that one in the box. So we're going to kind of go through these because I'm going to sell the whole box. Yes. Criticizing. Come on, people. What do you think they're doing? They're, we're, we're human beings. I've got that one. These everybody has seen before. This is a nice little Trafari piece. I'm just going to quickly go through them. Because I'm going to sell this whole box. This one. Looks like everything's there. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one's old, 13, 14, 
There's a bunch of them in here. 15. That one got in there. 16. 17. 18. I don't know if you guys can see them. This one I think is a Monet. 20. I'm just, you know, just gonna go quickly through them. These are these are the ones no one has purchased. There's another pretty. I mean, they're, they're nice. There's nothing wrong with them. Just quick flashing. Beautiful pearlized butterfly. This is, I believe this is either a Coro set or a Trafari set. No one's seen that one yet. <laughs> and no one has, hey, 4th of July is happening. So the rest of these, and I'll show them to you real quick. More butterflies. Just a whole bunch of beautiful, lovely, fun, summer name brand. I'm going to sell the whole lot. Might even be, uh, this, one's a, this one's a Monet. So there's some really good pieces in here. This whole set's going to somebody tonight. So all of these brooches right here. Yes. She's got a good heart too. So this whole set right here, all of these, there's nothing wrong with them. I will do for $50 right here, all of these. So if you want them, they're yours. And there's got to be, I don't know, 35 of them in here. I didn't count them all. Okay. I see Defleur. So Defleur, yes. And they have all of these beauties. Let me find a bag for them. And I will put them in here gently. Some of them are glass. But these I've shown before. Yeah, it is a nice buy. Um, in my sales, some of, I gotta I gotta go through them again just to make sure the pins are not sticking out because I don't. Last thing I want to do is hurt my subscribers when they get their stuff and they get stuck with a pin. Okay. Yeah, there's some. This is even like a little JJ, <laughs> a little tiny JJ. <laughs> this I thought was gorgeous. No interest until today. <laughs> now there's some, there's some good ones in here. Yes, yeah, really. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> okay, before, thank you so much. And I do have another box of bro brooches. I just haven't, I haven't seen these. So let's, let's check these out. What happened? Okay, let's check these out. Since I have a brooch crew here. This one, I don't know if I should sell or not. It, this one doesn't have an, anything to hook it on to. It's just a strange little, strange little guy. So there, 
maybe it's a stick pin. You put one of those stick pin things in there. It's made of glass and curly Q metal springs. Spring man. We'll do we'll do spring man for six. He probably needs one of those little stoppers on the bottom. Look for a stick pin. Oh Sherry, I see you. It's cool. It's probably some sort of famous designer. And, and I just don't know who it is. What's the, yeah, six. I wonder if Amazon sells those stopper things for stick pins. Oh, there's some really pretty ones in here. Look at this one. This one's an Eiffel Tower. There's no name. It's the Eiffel Tower with a moon glow butterfly on it. Oh, how beautiful is this one? This one? This one I will do for 12. 12 on the Eiffel Tower. The beautiful butterfly. Yes, Sarsar, do that. Do that. I know that Deb Tiny Deer Vintage does that also. Um, but yes, yeah, Sarsar, that would be so cool. Okay, I'm gonna put that back. This one is 1928. I'll do this one for 10 on the 1928. Molly, I see Molly. Thank you, Molly. The Tinkerbell of Jewelry. I have a magic wand. Put this away because I put a price on it. I think that Eiffel Tower. Saw Molly first. I'm sorry, Infinite. Over there. Here is a Joyful Angel with AB rhinestones. It does have a little bit of wear on the back. Right there. You see that? And then here's the front. Just shows some wear. I'll do six on the angel. This, these are just the new ones I got. Oh, princess, she does. Um, she does crafting with jewelry. I was watching her when she did a buffalo uh, once, and um, she is quite the detailed one. Oh, infinite, I see you. Yeah, I know you can just kind of see with some of these pieces. Wait a minute. Hi, Thelma, welcome. How are you? I wasn't feeling well earlier, but I feel so much better today. I mean, later today. All right, so here is, this looks like a 1928, but it's not. And it does have, let me wipe it off. This one has a scratch on the main pearl. 
and it's I'm gonna pass on this one this one's super pretty if you like blue this is for you here's the back right there and here is the no one got the Eiffel Tower you want it I'll put your name on it it's right here I'll put your name on it. If you don't want it, just let me know. Um, and here's the front. It's super adorable. Look at that. Just really cool little piece. I'm going to put $8 on this little guy right here. No problem. Princess wants this. Yeah, I haven't seen any of these. So this is, some of these are just all new to me. This one needs a good cleaning, that's for sure but it's still nice. Now, see the pearl, it's the pearls all mangled. I don't, it's like the centerpiece. No. Okay, so, oh, this is pretty. This one actually has something in a two on the back. I don't know if you can see that. And it's a porcelain piece with a transfer on the front. Oh, okay, you got it. I put your name on it because we can always sort out it, sort it out later. Look at this one. Look at that. This one's beautiful. Oh, Don, uh, Don's fundraiser. I forgot to go on about that. She's having a fundraiser starting on the twentieth. You got to subscribe to Don. Um, Dawn, um, is raising money and she got 10,000 subscribers. You had to be at 10,000 in order to get 100% of the proceeds to go to, to for one, for 100% of the donations to go to the cause, the Ukrainian cause. So this beautiful little one is 10. Hudson Vintage, yes. Molly got this one. Thank you, Molly. It's beautiful. I saw that I'm going, that's so pretty. You guys who know your stones, oh my gosh. It does, it kind of does look like Sarah Coventry, but I don't know. It's got kind of a little bit of a handwritten number on the back. Okay, here's a really pretty one. I don't know if the stuff on the back is going to come off. Sometimes it just gets... Yeah. Stuff on the back needs to be worked a little bit. See, there's some yuck right there. I don't know if it's paint from the front, but this is in really good condition. And here's the front, beautiful springtime flower. And this one I'll do for 10.
Okay, Molly. Molly got it for 10. Thank you. It's already 8 o'clock. When did I start? 6.30? Yeah. At 8.30, I will do a recap of what hasn't sold. In case you missed anything. There's not much, so... This is a pretty... This one, this one's all busted. See, it's all busted. You can't even put the pin, well, can you? Can you? No. Oh no, I got it to work. I thought it was wrecked. It's a really pretty butterfly. This one, I will do for Eight. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta go, okay, that's enough. <laughs> you sleep well. You sleep well. You got a sale tomorrow, I think, don't you? So check out Princess Cas Casserole. Go to her channel, hit the, the subscribe button and you will be notified when she goes live tomorrow no this piece is not sterling it's a just a gold tone it's gold tone double check well there are some marks on it but they are really, really tiny marks. Um, well, Monet signs everything, so, and they're, let me double check, Sar Sar. Oh, there is a mark, pardon me. And yes, it is a Monet. And I quoted eight dollars. So who wants it for eight? Um, there's no spinning. It's not a spinner. Okay, let's see. Make sure I got. I see sar sar. See sar sar. Let me double check. Okay, Sars are a good deal. I I can't, you know, the, the printing on it was so tiny. That's a good deal. Yeah, it's super itty bitty in there. And I, initially I thought that the, the pin itself was not working properly. And it does work. So thank you. Special guest, yay. All right. Well, you know, it's a crossover thing. People collect Monet, they collect, collect butterflies, they collect, I don't know, keep going. No, not doing that one. Oh, wow. This is something. It is not a Haskell because it's been glued. But here's the back. There's no mark on it. There's no mark on it. And then here's the front. Look at this one. Look at all of that, that goody gobs of, and that, and being that these are a little bit higher, it's protecting that little pearl in the center. It does look Haskell, but Haskell usually uses like a double, a double back and everything is wired. I don't know, maybe, let me do a, see if I can do a Google lens on it. 
<laughs> I know, really. Should be if it isn't. Because if it's, um, let me do a quick Google lens. It should come up. It does look like Haskell. I mean, the little I know about it. Oh. Hmm. Does say authentic Haskell. Somebody, I mean, I mean it, so yeah. The, this person says it's a Haskell. Um, that's the only one I see. I better hang on to it. <laughs> Yeah, there are very, very few, very few unsigned Haskells. Um, cause they usually, yeah, they, she, those were signed. Um, so I'm, I've got a Haskell book. I'm going to look in it. So this, this is more of a show and tell on this one, but somebody called it. Yeah. Cannibalize. Yeah. Or. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Put that in the, up there with my Chrysler bracelet. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get on with this. This one says, this might be a Sarah Coventry. No, it's a listener. I haven't seen too many listeners lately. Here's the back. It's in really good shape. Here's the front. It's kind of got a wrap, a wrap to it. This one, this one I will do. Oh yeah, this one I'll, I'll do this one for 10. It's a listener. Thank you, Christine. I actually have a pile I'm starting. I may do a consult, private consult, because um, there's a lot to be said for her opinion. I think, well, uh, Gina did it. She shared a little bit about her conversation with Dr. Lori um, on some, some fantastic pearls, so. Uh, yes, and and Jen. So um, I will. I'll, I'll send her um, a picture of it if she's not here any longer. I know she's she's been she's been busy all day. She was up at six o'clock my time. <laughs> um, so yeah, Jen's Jen's had a long long day. That's uh, Sunday bobbles. Yeah, can tell me more about. Okay, Molly, you got it. <laughs> it's a really nice listener, and Gina's the one who told me that you pronounce listener, listener, <laughs> not listener. It's not a lizard. Sure that no one got their way in there before Molly, but no one did. You have, yeah, you've actually been on her show because there's, um, I know, listener, it's listener. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, you can do you can do a private consult or you can be on her show. This looks like 1928, but it's not. Here's the back. Yeah, she's, she's, and she'll tell you if she doesn't know. I mean, you know, there's so much out there about jewelry. Um, this one, this one I'll do, it's in really good shape. I'll do this one for 10. It's an unbranded. 
beautiful 1928 sort of piece. You have this one? It's not marked. It's, um, it's a nice piece. It's not marked. It's in really good shape. Okay, we'll put this one down. Yeah, I know, they don't always mark them. This is cool. I like this one. This is old. This one's old. Look at the back. That little pen sticks way the heck out there. Way the heck. Look at that. And it's on one of those kind of clasps. I think you, you call it a... I don't know if you can see that hooky thing there. Here's the front. It's a filigree apple. And this one, I'll, I'll do this one for 10. It's old. I, I think you would call that a C-clasp. Molly. I see Molly first. That's a oldie but a goodie. I have just some other little oddballs in here. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys are just going to melt when you see this. I just hope the clasp works. Yes, it works. Oh my gosh, you're going to melt when you heat. You're going to melt when you see the other side of this, I swear. It is just so adorable. Look at that. That is so sweet. Sweet little tiny little butterfly for $8. It is so cute. Little daisies on there. Oh my gosh. It's just such a little cutie. Okay, Molly, you got the little tiny butterfly with the flowers. That is so adorable. I'm sorry, Lori. And I think that's it. Yeah, I've got the, like this stick pin and some other circle thing. So that's it. Uh, that's it on the, the brooches. Thank, thank goodness, right? The brooches are over. Oh, wait a minute. I see one more. Or do I? No, I'll do that later. That's a jelly belly and that's a whole nother thing. Put those boxes away. Faux pearls. Okay. Let me find something. I've got lots of stuff. Oh, I showed this one on... This was... This I thought was unusual. Um, there's no name. It's on a leather cord. And this feels like coated metal. Because it's, it's, it's heavy. It's heavier. But that's a beautiful stone in there. Look at that stone. It's faceted. Oh, my brother arrived? Oh, no, he's not here yet. Oh, there he is. Yes. Joseph Antone. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Joe. And then the back of this right here, it's flat. Wait a minute, I don't, that needs to be. There's a, a catch here. Yeah, it's peeling a little there. That would ruin somebody's sweater, I think. So 
I don't like that. This, these are all, okay. And then it's on this leather cord. A really long leather cord that you can change and adjust. And this one, this one I'll do for 12. It's just a fantastic piece. I mean, just the stone alone is probably worth more than that. Look at that. Let's see what kind of stone it is. Might be giving away the farm here. <laughs> Yeah, it's a quartz. And, um, is it an agate? All right, let me try it again. <laughs> oh, agate's not on here. So that's the trick. Yeah. It's red, okay, it's an agate. Ah, oh, cathedral. So that's probably why they made this cut right here, so that you can see the, the depth. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I'll put this one away. Yeah, leather, you know, is, Kind of like you either like it or you don't. Did you show the gold with the matching bracelet? Oh yeah, I'll show it. You may not have been on the the when because you know kids in practice and stuff. <laughs> but I've showed it before. Yeah. So that kind of makes sense that they, you know, you, you cut certain stones to make it look the best. Thank you, Molly. Thank you for saying happy birthday. Sarah said agate. I better write that down on here. Because that, you know, it makes sense when you're dealing with stones. I'll probably pull this bag and go, who's agate? <laughs> um, we were gonna do this set. Okay, so. This actually looks like it's been painted professionally, like at, um, you know, where they make these. <laughs> wherever this was made. It's definitely a, a goldish tone. And um, here is the bracelet right there. And the, the bracelet seems Um, format than this, this one. No, we'll do. This feels tight on me. I mean, not horribly tight, but what are the rumors? Ooh. Oh, Mallorca. Mmm. I have big YouTube signed card. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so the bracelet on this one is, it looks like it could be, a, I'm gonna call it a solid seven, because it fits me like snug. So this is, a, this is the bracelet's a seven, and the necklace has this clover thing on the back. It's really interesting to fleur but it looks like it's been painted maybe as a repair with metal paint. So it's 
So without the, oh wow, you need the, it's like 12 inches of the necklace part and then another four inches on the extender. So this one, I'll put on the, the form. I'm going to bring it up close so you can actually see how ice it's painted. I'm thinking somebody um, did a really good job painting a, a necklace and a bracelet that may have shown signs of damage or scratching. So it's an excellent job. Let me get this thing out of the way. And this up. Take a look at this. You can see it more on the bracelet, I think, than you can on... It's just a really good job. It just feels like it's been painted. So I will do this set for... I'll do it for 15. It's a really good job. I mean, it looks... Okay, DeFleur, you got it. Yeah, whoever did that did a really, really good job. And they probably painted right over the maker's mark. <laughs> but I know that clover means something. It could even be a lucky brand for all I know. But I know on, on good lucky pieces, though, it's like you, it's marked three places. Okay. Let's see what else I got. I have this um, set, this stone set. This is, don't ask me what these stones are. <laughs> um, I will, oh, this, some sort of lacy thing right here. Somebody knows what that, yeah, I hear you, sir, sir. And then I don't, yeah, I'll put the gem tester on that. And then these could be some sort of uh, amethyst or garnet or something there. I'll put it on the white one too. It does have matching earrings. And more agate, like a lace agate. Is that what that is? And here's these. Matching earrings. They go with it. And this one I will do for 20. And I'll get you a size. It's for the set. I will get you a size. Oh, there is a mark on it. <laughs> oh, this is a Premier Designs. Is it on a silver chain? Yes. I don't, I'm not, it's, it's a Premier Designs. It's not going to be sterling. And the drop as it sits. Okay, I see... Um, are you leaving, Molly? Who's leaving? Okay, so this one is got an eight inch drop with a little bit of a, um, I see Mishka wants it anyway, but okay, Mishka, thank you so much. That's a gorgeous stone. Thank you, Mishka. Okay, so we're at the point where I'm going to do a recap before we close shop. Yes, 
and it is a premier design. Oh, DeFleur's leaving. Oh, bye, DeFleur. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you didn't. Okay, Mishka, you didn't want it. Somebody want the uh, premier designs. That's fine. No worries, Mishka. No worries. Yeah, um, Sunday has, Sunday has, um, actually a two-part pearl, um, videos. Put that over here. Okay, shall we, I don't really have a lot for a recap, but we can go through them. We can go through them. This is the cloisonne that I had for 18. Beautiful, blue, Asian style. Has three cloisonne beads and hand painted. Um, I'll type in the, so this, this one was 18. have the $12 agate right here. So the agate that was for the cloisonne. Cloisonne. That was 18, the agate. Is 12. Oh, Sarsar -Sar wants the agate. Okay. Thank you, Sarsar. -Sar. Oh, yeah. You know, there's always going to be jewelry, Mishka. Thank you, Sarsar. -Sar. Yeah, you don't have to do the leather. You can take the leather off. It's all about that piece of, that piece of stone. Okay, and then I had this beautiful and uh, this beautiful link and that one is the gold link. It is 12. So that's the gold link. have the Napier bracelet right here, this beauty, this Napier bracelet, 12 on, so this, the Napier was 12, whoops, oh, Here's the other agate set right here, the lace agate. And that one I had for 20. And then I had this Peru set right here comes with the necklace, the bracelet, and the two pairs of earrings. This whole set right here. That's a necklace, I mean the, the bracelet, and the two pairs of earrings, the Peru set. With the Peruvian coins, Napier necklace. I don't have a Napier necklace. 
Did I have it? I don't think I had an Napier necklace. I had an Napier bracelet. This one right here, this is not a Napier. This is just a gold tone link. Um, and this comes with these. And the Peru set. Peru. 18 for all of it. back. Bracelet. Yeah, the bracelet is, I would say, a seven. It was a Napier bracelet. The link necklace. Oh, let me measure that real quick for you. I forget already. I didn't write it down. You want the Peruvian set? Infinite. I'll put your name on it if you want it. Um, you can you can tell me some other way. Put your name on it. So, gosh, thanks everybody for coming. Um, all right. The length on this beauty is, I have it like at 16. Maybe, yeah. So this is at 16. Oh, okay. I will show you. This one is a 16 inch right there. Oh, no problem. This one actually has the Peruvian coins on it. There's the back of the coins. Oh, no worries, no worries. <laughs> Hogging all the chat. We have a... <laughs> That's fine. You're just trying to get to know other people. So this one. Okay. Put this away. And the only other things I had, there was a $8 Monet necklace. I not necklace, an $8 Monet um, bracelet. This was eight. Nice stretch on it. Let's put it on with one hand. And the very last piece I have. I don't know what this was in. Oh, this was the last piece I have here is Amethyst and Pearl bracelet for 10. It's a little bit bigger than a seven, I would say. Night Sar Sar. <laughs> oh, Purple Rain wants this. Okay. It's really very nicely done. Thank you, Purple Rain. Wow. If anybody doesn't, let's see, real coins. Oh, <laughs> let me get it again. Where'd I put it? I believe they are real coins, and I believe they have a real date. Like, heck, I don't know. Let me look in my loop. A 
I mean, if they're not real coins, it's got to be a good copy. Hmm. This is the bottom coin has a llama on it. Oh, come on. That's Peru. Let's see if I can get it. It says 1982, and it looks like they um, they put the hooks right there. Oh, congratulations on your grandson. That's great. So this says 1982 on those two top coins, I believe. So there you have it. Nice to see you, Laura, but congratulations. Oh my gosh, that's gotta be cute. So, so don't forget to hit the, the thumbs up button. I had um, come home early from work because I wasn't feeling well, so, and I'm starting to feel it in my back. Um, but I don't want to stop if there's anything else you guys would like to see or do or I know some of the East Coasters you want, oh sure sure no problem okay so the, the little links in here are going through the date of 1982. And then, oh, it goes my finger. And then there's the llama on the bottom coin. Oh, I do. I do, Thelma. Let me look. Yes. Those little potteries up here, pottery beads. And then here's the other side. I do, Thelma. I think I have one, but I'll have to take a look at it. Yeah, and then it comes with the pottery beads. Yes, all comes together. Yes, Jane has them, has two of them. Oh no, just, you know, pay within 24 hours is all I ask, but I don't really bug people a lot. All right. I don't know if I showed this one, Thelma, but we will see. Let's see if I have any other. Oh. I thought this one was cool. All right. I have this one. I think I showed it on Sunday. And I don't even remember what I was asking for it. But it has this screw barrel right here. Oh, it was um, infinite. It was $18 for the whole set. Your name's on it, yes. I put your name on it. Just in case. So I have that one. Oh, yeah. This one I had for, for 12 With these really good chunky beads. Okay. Multi-strand. I don't have any multi-strands today. Um, 
But let me double check. You never know. It could be at the bottom of one of these boxes. This one. Yeah, I don't have any today, but um, I might have some coming up. I have just got in a vintage lot today. This, oops, smack. This in, in front of it. I had for $10 each. I'll put this one over here. These are $10 each. these guys and this has got milk glass beads in it these are all chokers and then this one but they're all single strand this one's really cool good night Molly thanks for coming thank you thank you All of these are ten dollars each. This one may need to be, yeah, it, the wire needs to be restrung on this one. It's really old C cloth. Spring ring, I should say. Spring ring. It is a nice piece, eh, infinite. Anyway. That's what I have for now. And I'll have more to show on Sunday. So I really, really would... Um... Good night, Tanya. Thanks for coming. What the heck? Oh, that's my... <laughs> that's my gem tester. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought that smoke alarm was going off. Um... But anyway, yes, good night, all my sweet folks. Happy birthday to my brother. Happy graduation to Laura's grandson. Um, he's going to have a blast. And um, yeah, it was a good night. Thank you all. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I'm kind of feeling it again. So um, good to meet you, Infinite. And... What? Anyway, yes, thank you all. <laughs> Operation. <laughs> oh, hi, Ramel. Thank you. Thank you, Sunday. Yeah, I'm really curious about that brooch now. Because it just, I, I, the second I saw it, I, I knew it was a well-made piece. Good night, all. See you soon.